So Puddles guys posted a video. What's the one comment? Damn, that that's crazy. Nah, I'ma still make fun of them. That that's wild. That, that's crazy. That's the funniest comment. But she's like, furries are not weird the weird ones. Are actually so sweet. We shouldn't judge someone based off of dress up. Uh, of dress up puddles. Now again, puddles. You probably don't know the reason why people judge furries is because there's some people in the furry community that did some awful things to their animals, sexually abusing their animals. That's not false information. That's actually true. And actually, there's been a few furries that have done some things to minors. That's why people judge furries. Again, I don't judge furries. I have a friend that is, you know, a furry. But I don't judge him. I respect him. And of course, I'm not going to be a dick about it. But I was honest with him. And I told him, yes, I am not. Okay, so I told him, don't take this the wrong way. I am not a big fan of furries. And the reason why I'm not a big fan of furries is, and the reason, and he, he agreed with me, is because, you know, the, the incidents I've heard that furries have did some questionable things to minors. And yes, there's been a few people in the community that have done some really awful stuff to minors. And also, their sexual, you know, doing sexual abuse to their pets is also fucked up and very wrong. Excuse my language there, but that that is very fucked up. And even doing some things to minors is just, no. The... So yeah, I'm 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 a, I'm a sane person, but of course, I think what she meant to say, I'm not going to speak for her, but I'm going to I think what she meant to say is don't judge people on how they dress, which I don't judge anybody on how they dress. I judge them if I know them well enough, you know? And, you know, it's like, I don't judge anybody personally if if they want to identify as certain things. I don't judge that. I only judge if they, if they have a good heart or if they're a good person. That is my moral standing. But if they're a good person and they have a good heart and they're a nice person, I don't really care. As long as they don't force the furry thing on me. And, my, and the friend that is a furry, look, he didn't force it on me. He basically helped me understand it a little better. That's it. Did, did he force it on me? No. And I appreciate that because he's still a cool guy. But I don't judge people based on how they dress. And uh, Puddles, your video calls Therians are nice folks too. But in your video, you say furries. And let me be honest with you. Therians does not mean furries. Now again... It can be. Again, to some people, maybe Therians does mean furries, but to people that actually know the definition of Therians, it's, it doesn't mean furries. It, it means a religious person. A religious person, pretty much, is a Therian. And I'm a religious person, but I don't judge anybody. And just because I've heard some bad things about furries does not mean I say all furries are bad. I just feel like Puddles didn't do any research on it. And yes, there are some people that make the community look bad. Even look at the trans community. There's been a few, you know, that have done awful things. I mean, the one trans person on TikTok I've seen that is not a great person. I think she goes by Lily or something, but it's really weird. And, you know, and she's not a good person where she's representing the community. It's, it's not great. And I'm not saying all trans people are bad because of that one person. You know, and I'm not saying all furries are bad just because I've heard some, you know, people in the fandom are terrible. That is a good point there. You know, that's, that, that's a good point. I'm not saying everybody's terrible because of I've heard some bad things about one community. But again, I haven't met... A person 
that's a fairy. And I think I've met like maybe a person that's a furry, didn't hate him. You know, I respected him and he didn't, he was a very cool guy. He still is a cool guy. Um, but do I, I've met a lesbian as well and I'm not going to name names there. I've met a lesbian as well and she was like the nicest person at one point. But I, I changed the cycle where I'm not going to get personal or bring up personal stuff that should have stayed private in my opinion and I should have never been personal but I did gone personal now again yes puddles therians are not at bad as well I guess maybe I am a therian not a person that dresses up like an animal but a therian is a religious person and yes I I what I am a religious person so like I I was like I'm I'm Mormon but I'm kind of like transitioning out of Mormon and and might start reading scriptures but not a person that judges people on their sexual preference because again it's not my place to judge there. I only judge if you know they have a good heart and they're a kind person. That's that's my moral standing. And again, I don't judge anybody in how they dress. If they want to dress they w the, the way they want to dress, okay, let them dress the way, the way they want to dress. But I also think, you know, some people in the LGBTQ community should be a bit questioned because some, you know, like to, you know, sexualize minors. And... Again, I'm not saying everybody in, in the LGBTQ community is like that, but, you know, there is a few out there that thinks of, you know, young boys and young girls. And it's very weird sometimes, but I'm not blaming the entire community. There's a difference. There are some individuals that are like, oh, gosh, like, ugh. And to be fair, I think I've interacted with a trans person. There was another trans person that's on, on TikTok. She's she's really cool. I, I've enjoyed her videos, but I don't see her videos anymore. The reason why was because I was liking her videos, and uh, she commented or messaged me on TikTok, pretty much saying, "Hey, stop! You know my phone's buzzing like crazy. Stop! You know liking my videos and da da da." And pretty much didn't want me to support her her content, even though I thought she was pretty funny. And then she was trying to assume I was mad. And I said, I'm not mad. You seem, you're assuming I'm mad, but I'm not really mad when you seem mad that I enjoy your content. And she literally didn't respond. And I think she blocked me because of that. But again, hey, look, I didn't judge her for being trans. You know, I'm a, I'm a guy with the moral standing. People know I have a moral standing. I don't judge anyone. You know, I, I don't judge anyone's sexual preference either. You know, I just don't want that forced on me where I have to deal with that. And then, okay, then I'm like, hey, I have a problem with it. But I also, I also, I respect anybody that is a part of the LGBTQ community. And again, I respected Puddles. Yeah, she's lesbian. Did I respect her? Absolutely. I respected her. And I, I'm a guy who has moral standard. I don't take advantage of a woman. Of course not. And again, I didn't do that with Puddles. Because that would be a horrible thing. And again, I, I'm, I'm a good person at the end of the day. I, I understand morals. And I understand that I I literally had to let go of certain things to try to better my life. And that doesn't make me the enemy here because it's like I'm doing the things that are helping me in life. And I'm figuring out my stuff slowly each day. Granted, I'm not perfect with it, but I'm doing the best I can. But yes, Puddles, I still care about you and I still respect you. And if, you know, if this is your choice of lesbian, hey, you do you. And I hope, and I'm really hoping that you're, you know, you're doing things that are going to help you be successful. And, you know, do your thing. Because I respect, you know, even Codex, I respect him. Did I hate him? No. 
Because, again, he was a cool guy. Do I wish him well? Absolutely, and I hope he's okay. Because if y'all are not aware, Florida got hit with a hurricane right now. And it's it's pretty bad. It's pretty scary, you know? And I, and I wish everybody well in Florida, and I hope everybody's going to be okay. I think one of the guys that is dealing with that is Daniel King Gaming. And I've been aware, because I've been seeing it on his channel, and I've been aware that, yes, um, he's... You know, the good thing is he's okay and his family's okay. That's the good thing. But I'm being honest. I wish everybody luck in that uh, Florida hurricane because that's pretty scary. Um, Midwest is pretty, you know, Midwest. I heard something about the Midwest that it was going to be like a tornado. And I'm like, that's pretty scary as hell as well. So anybody in the Midwest, God bless y'all and best of luck. But yeah, so I just wanted to respond to that video. I know it's not really much content. And again, I already put out a video responding to someone dissing just a robot on stream and calling him out rightfully so because it's going to be really funny when just a robot does call him out for it. Um, but yeah, of course, guys, no hate towards puddles. You know pretty much respecting and i kind of understand where she's coming from but again not all um people judge people based on how they dress it's mostly people judge people that take it way too far by take it way too far they do something they do something that's awful and by something that's awful, I mean something that has to do with sexually abusing animals, but then also sexually abusing children. And that's just where I cross the line where it's like, no, uh, minors, that, that's wrong on so many levels. And again, you ain't going to see me doing that because I'm a reasonable person that isn't that stupid to do that shit. So, yes. I'm going to stop talking about this video, but I wanted to respond because Therians, again, Puddles, Therians are nice people. And I learned from dead meat, be good people. And yes, do I respect anybody? I knew a trans person, actually. I knew a trans person. She was cool. And I hope she's doing well in life as well. But I'm not going to name names because, again, there's no point to. I'm not going to be carrying this drama anymore because there's no point to. You know, it gets to a point where everybody's got to move on and live their life and hope things go well. Do I wish all of the friends I'm not friends with? Yes, I wish them well incredibly. I wish them well and I hope they are successful. And I hope, they you know, they are going to do things that help them out. Same with Puddles. Even though I'm not friends with her anymore... I hope she's doing well, but I also hope, you know, she's being successful or I hope, you know, she, you know, be, you know, I hope she's successful and I hope, you know, she does incredibly well in life and I, and I wish her well. It's like, it's crazy because I, I started out hating on her and rightfully so, but again, my stance changed because again, there's no point of continuing something that's just pointless you know and there's and it's really stupid because it's like look i don't need to really carry it more often i'm just gonna like look it happened i'm acknowledging it happened but i'm acknowledging my growth i'm not going to dwell on something that happened fucking a month ago and yes excuse my language lore excuse my language there and people are like oh you say you're religious yes i'm religious but, you know, I don't force it down people's throats because I'm smart about that. And also, too, I don't force my moral stance on people anyway. So I, I'm a guy who's reasonable. That's all I'm going to say. I'm a guy who's understanding, reasonable, and doesn't force any agenda on anybody. Which, by the way, people should not force anything but it's also weird how they're forcing the whole transgender thing on minors, on young kids. Like, they're preying on young kids. 
And again, it, it's bad because these kids, you know, don't know any better. They don't know the effects of it. And then they go down a whole road where it could hurt them more. And again, Puddles could respond to this and say, what the fuck are you talking about? And, and reasonably, but you really think about it. There was a documentary called What is a Woman? And yes, they go in detail exposing that they force it on the young, you know, kids in preschool. And they, it's like, yeah, look at this trans thing. And then they go through a surgery. And it's also weird how a surgeon that's transgender doesn't know what a woman is when this person does surgeries on men and women, but can't identify what women is. It's also weird that a person from a college professor also doesn't know what a woman is. And it's also freaking weird because it's like, how are you a surgeon and you're a medical professional, but you don't know what a woman is? That, that, does, that doesn't make sense to me because it's like, I know I'm rambling on, but I recommend people check out that documentary, What is a Woman? And I still haven't seen that documentary, Am I a Racist? Because I would love people to call out that that white supremacist, um, Cand Candace, because she's really stupid. Like her theories don't even make sense. Like she was saying the French, you know, the, the first woman of, you know, France is trans, but she isn't because like the photo she showed, that's literally her brother. And and then and the whole photo, there's a little girl there, and that's the freaking first lady of France. <laughs> like that that theory falls apart. And then she's also the problem is too, you know, she doesn't know her history. And then she calls the history book stupid when we should be learning from history. And you like you would think about it, if people learned more from history, guess what? We wouldn't have things repeating itself over and over. Now, I'm just being real. But again, I know I went on a rant, but it doesn't make sense. I'm like, because, you know, it's like a thing. If people want to be trans, that should not be forced on people. That should be a thing. You know, that should be a choice. That should be a choice, not forced. And that is my two cents where I don't like on how you have some people um, in the community of the LGBTQ prey on minors. I don't like that. I really don't. I really don't like how they prey on minors. And it's just incredibly weird on how you have people in the LGBTQ community preying on minors is really concerning actually and and seriously though get help if you're actually trying to do that no seriously like that that that's mildly concerning like and i mean literally like i i i'm okay if someone wants to be trans that's okay but again it should be a choice not forced on the young youth that don't know any better and then they don't know the long-term effects like, they interviewed a woman that transitioned to a man. And she started crying, saying these effects... And she literally has kids. But she's crying because, again, she could get cancer. And most of the people that don't know these effects... Yeah, you could get cancer for that. So it's really a whole predicament where it's like, it's fucked up. And, again, I don't hate anybody that's trans. And, if again, if that's their choice, great. But if they're not forcing it on minors and living their life as a trans person, great. But if you're forcing it on minors and pre and you know, pre you know, being like predatory towards minors, it's time to stop. Like if that is where you're going with the trans thing, yikes. <laughs> but I know I've talked a bunch about this video. But I'm being perfectly honest where people don't really think about that, where it's like, that's mildly concerning. That's not a good thing. Like, I don't think it's right that they're forcing it on the young kids. You know, they don't know any better and they don't know the long-term effects of it. 
and till it's too late, basically. So I, I, I don't know, you know? And again, I'm not saying everybody in the trans community is doing that. I'm just saying, and let me say this, the sum portion of the trans community predatorizing on minors. That's the ones where I'm like, whoa, back off. Like, that's too far in my eyes. And again, that's my moral standard. I'm not saying every trans person is predatorizing on minors. I'm just saying the freaking select few that, you know, predatorize on minors is mildly, not mildly, really concerning and be like, bro, um, uh, we, we need to talk. And that's not a good talk. It's going to be a talk where I'm screaming and yelling. And again, I'm not saying every trans person is doing that, but it's just like, I'm not blaming every trans person for what some people do in the community. You know what I mean? And again, I've seen clips of some trans people going a little too far. And I've seen clips of a lot of people in the community going a little too far. But, again, Puddles, I mean, again, she has a good moral heart. So I feel like, you know, she would understand a lot of this. And I feel like if she's saying this, great. But the whole point is, when you're, and I hope she understands that, is people aren't judging them, you know, if they dress like, like dress up like an animal. They're judging them based on if they did something horrible to a minor or did something really effed up to an animal. So peace, guys, see you next time.